Uh, yo, 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 we back with another motherfucking podcast, man. You already know what it is. Never wanted to talk podcast. Special guest in the house tonight, man. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and introduce yourself. Kenny B. Young, and y'all know what the fuck going on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, shit, bro. Kenny B., bro, like, you've been through a lot this year. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, lost two Instagram pages. You know what I'm saying? Ran it up, lost them back. Rest in peace, Jug, baby. You know what I'm saying? Woody too okay. live. You know what I'm saying? But, shit, how you been, bro? Shit. Really, I call it getting older, for real. Like, shit. Like, Wody dying, I really ain't lost nobody that close to me before, for real. Like, so, that shit be like, it's like, if you, y'all niggas know Wody from a long ass time. See yeah. what I'm saying? Y'all know him since a kid, so y'all know what type of nigga Wody was. Like, Wody a good hearted ass nigga, but he an asshole too. Like, <laughs> Wody an asshole, so. It just like being around Wody is just like ain't no it's never a dual moment. Like it just like turn every time. But it but really like he been knowing I don't give a fuck about rap or none of that, like n- like going far or nothing. But Wody the type of nigga like, bitch, let's go to Asian show tonight or let's go out there and fuck with Wutu or let's do this. And I'ma just go cause we two folks, you know what I'm saying? Like they're my people, so I'ma just go with him or whatever. We gonna thug how we thug, but shit, now that Wody died, it's just like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, I ain't, I don't know. You don't feel like you, uh, have you been making music? Yeah, I make music like a bitch, but I just listen to it myself type shit. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people forget that, like, when you first popped off, you was, like, young as hell. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying, you had some childish ways and shit, but yeah. now it's look like you've gotten older, you learned a lot. What's some things you learned since being in the music game? Shit. Basically, uh, I've been learning people like a bitch, like, I've been learning like body language and shit. Like, I've been getting real good on that shit. Far as like, um, how people treat me type shit, how people act. So it's just like that too, and safety at the same time. Like, like I don't know what woke me up, but it's it's like okay, boom. The most untouchable nigga can be touched type shit. See what I'm saying? And. Like throughout me beefing for like years and years on Barry with I ain't never been touched like with nothing, like shot, whoop, nothing. So it's just like I I felt like I'm untouchable type shit. See what I'm saying? But I really just had to slow down. Like my daddy be talking to me and shit, having me big on that shit. And then it's just like when I was doing all that rah shit, I ain't really too much had nothing to live for type shit. See what I'm saying? Now I got a daughter and shit. Like yeah. Nick can't be. It's just like if I I just caught I really just got out of probation like two, three weeks ago. That's good shit. But before that, I was on probation, kept going to jail and shit, but I don't really be posting when I go to jail because I know I'm finna get out. But I just go to jail and shit like two, three days, get up out there, ho. But it just like, I ain't, I ain't like the phone calls talking to my daughter and shit, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't like that shit. Then it's just like, who the fuck gonna pay the rent if I'm in jail? Who gonna do this? See what I'm saying? Can't leave my responsibility to another I'm nigga. Maturing, for sure. Hey, so I know you was building a relationship with King Von, you know what I'm saying, through yeah. Asian Dog. I seen him at your show performing and shit. Yeah. When he passed, did that kind of wake you up as well? Was that something that was shocking? Nah, not really, because like I said on um, Mogul Media shit, I knew Von was finna die. Mm. See what I'm saying? Like, it's weird, but it's true. Like, You did he, feel it. I could feel it. He told but it's just like, I've been on Chicago music for a long ass time, like since I was a kid. So just like, I always fucked with Vaughn. I always fucked with Chief Keeping them. But now nah, we ain't know Vaughn when we was little. But it's just like, I always fucked with the movement. Like, yeah. I'm the type of nigga, I'm going to try to learn everybody around them. See what I'm saying? Like, them the real killers. Like, see what I'm saying? Like, even though, even, bro, even if they killing type shit, like, I want to know the people, like, who are, who, who, so I learn that shit, do it like that. And then when I met Vaughn, I think we was in v Ecstasy or some shit. We was in somewhere. It was turned wherever y'all was at. We was in somewhere, but Vaughn already knew me because I be on the phone with Asian like a bitch. Like, that's my sister. Like, well, that's my brother type shit. Like, I be on the phone with her so much. Like, I was just on the phone with her last night for like two, three hours before they took her gram and shit or the night before one of them. Damn. Oh, so her gram was took. Yeah. yeah. She ain't deactivated. Nah, she, her gram got took and Damn. then she just got it back. But, um, I always used to be on the phone with Asian and shit, and Vaughn would just come in the room, we'd chop it up for like a minute or two. It never was nothing serious. And then I came to V Live, and he was there. And uh, I think it was Mr. Hit That, or once somebody. And yeah, we yeah, had V Live for sure. Then. Yeah, and then Wadi kept telling me, he like, bro, tell him to play, what's the name? Wadi just kept on telling him, play this, play this. 
And then, you know, Wody, Wody one of the richest partners I got, but he one of the cheapest. So I'm saying, like, <laughs> no cap, like, he ain't going to give a nigga <laughs> shit. So, but at the same time, he had paid for, he had paid them to play 8K. And then we were playing 8K and shit. We were turning up. We had burners and shit in the club. But um, we were on the stage and shit, turning over there, boom, boom. And then I just looked in the corner of my eye, and I could see Vaughn, like, just like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, just like, damn, you young nigga talking. Going crazy, but I'm like, I'm still doing my shit or whatever. And then he walked over there, put his arm around me, just started jumping and shit. But it just like, it just like, the only reason I knew he was finna die is cause he had told me to come here. Like, when he told me to come here, that wasn't a conversation that I was expecting from him. See what I'm saying? Like, he was telling me, like, basically, this gang shit, this gangster shit ain't gonna get you far type shit. See what I'm saying? Like, he was like, yeah. look at little folks. I got him a chain. Look at little folks. I got him a chain. I got his mama a crib, my mama a crib. Like, he was just telling me, like, I used to be, I used to have shit. Just like y'all, like, I was thugging, like, boom, boom. Boom, this, that, this, that. When I got back to the crib, I'm like, he had told me, he had gave me a water, his number. He was like, come to uh, Atlanta with us. I'm going to turn you up. No, this, that, this, that. Damn. I got back to the crib. I told my girl, I was like, nah, boy, I'm finna die, like. I just know every time a nigga like come in and try to fuck with me, they end up dying or some shit like that, like some crazy shit, like some weird shit. That's some crazy ass shit. Nah, damn, nah, rest in peace King Von for sure, but that's some real shit. Like now, you know what I'm saying, seeing everything that's going on, and when you think about what he said, like this, the gang gangster shit ain't gonna get you nowhere. Like, do you think that's facts? I mean, (laughs) I do, but at the same time, it's like, that's, that's, I ain't gonna say that's like a tradition in our family, but that's just like, like you know, my my daddy and them is the ones started blood and 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 um for work. See what I'm saying? They the ones that his big homie and shit brought that shit down here. Like my daddy big homie was in the Paru Love video in Cali Damn. and mm-hmm. shit. Like, but it just like as a kid, my daddy like used to always tie red bandanas around his head, and he had a big ass banner in the garage. And it was his OG, OG Trent. He had a big ass banner and it was um his OG and shit. He used to work out every day and shit, like listen to blood music. So it's really like that's all I knew as a kid type shit. So when I grow up, it just like I don't know nothing else. See what I'm saying? Like it just like I just wanna I don't even wanna say that. I just wanna like retaliate type shit. See what I'm saying? Like that's all it be like. I'm I'm be chilling if a nigga ain't fucking with me. I ain't fuck. You see what I'm saying? Don't fuck with me. I ain't gonna fuck with you. See what I'm saying? But when it's disrespect, then that's when I feel like I gotta do something. See what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's just like that. Nah, for sure. If you can go back, like, would you try to stay away from like the gang shit? Yeah, for sure. Cause it's just like I would I I would try to stay away from the gang shit and being a rapper type Damn. shit. Damn. See what I'm saying? Cause it's just like I ain't know I. I ain't know this shit was this petty. Like, I ain't know it was this, like, messy and you get so much criticism. Right. See what I'm saying? Like, I miss being on the block and thugging, like, and just fitting in type shit. See what I'm saying? Like, I miss just being outside, period. Like, just being anywhere, just thugging. Like, I'm like living thug. regular is what you Just living regular. Yeah, see what I'm sure. saying? Like, I, don't, I, I really too much don't like um, being an artist, but it helped me a lot with life. See what I'm saying? It helped Do me feel like- how to move. My fault, my fault, I ain't me cut you off. But do you feel like being in this area is like what's fucking you up? You know what I'm saying? Because it's like you familiar here, everybody yeah, know you here. For sure. If you go somewhere else, it's like you can really blend in. Type yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? For sure, because every time I went somewhere else, I went crazy. See what I'm saying? Like when when I when I first blew up, I ain't blow up down here. I was in Atlanta. Mm, I was with I Supreme know. and shit in Atlanta. Then after that, um, I had went to New York. I had signed and went to New York, and I was thugging in New York for a little bit. So I was getting fan base in New York. That's how I ran into Lil TJ and Asian and shit. Damn. That was b- before Lil TJ had blew up. Yeah. He used to, um, we used to talk and shit like that. He was telling me, I I had signed to Columbia, three million dollar deal. But at first, I ain't believe him. I ain't gonna lie. Like I'm like, who the fuck is this young nigga talking about? He signed a three million dollar deal. Like I don't, nigga don't even know you. But it just like as time came, and young nigga started blowing up, going crazy. on God, like going Damn. stupid. And we did a song and shit, put it on my mixtape like he a real nigga. Hey, well let's go back, bro, because I feel like I'm ninety percent sure we was the first blogger to kinda cover Kenny B. Yeah, yeah. Is that facts? Sure. Do you remember the that? First one that covered me? Yeah. Uh I probably like when we first saw when I first saw Nah, nah, before you wasn't a real rapper, bro. We seen y'all side by side with like 
20 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We talked about that before, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But nah, shit, like, but I ain't gonna lie. This nigga here was like, hey, we need to tap in with this yeah, nigga. He's said, like, he the youngest nigga. And that nigga really rapping. I'm like, what damn. What I called him, though, when, I, when we seen him. I said, when we left, I said, that nigga gonna be the star. Nah, yeah. facts. No no cap. Before we knew y'all. You know what I'm saying? He okay. called it out. And then when once you dropped that hip hopper, yeah. that shit started going up. So what like what market would you say was fucking with you first? Um, My city. I say my city was fucking with me first. But it's just like, you know how it come like over time, that shit be changing. Like, yeah. your city uh, start hating on you. Because you know, like when I started rapping, no other young nigga was rapping like, They'll be like, okay, it's um, who the who the hardest rappers in the uh, who the hardest rappers in the um DFW right now? They'll be like, yeah, yo, uh, get money, Lil Ronnie, Spud, Kenny B, Kenny B, them like man, man, was in a group. They'll be like Kenny B, them and um, who I'm missing? OG Low Key. Low key. See what I'm saying? Like it wasn't no other young niggas in the conversation. It was just like we was in there with the big niggas because we was the only young niggas mm-hmm. rapping. See what I'm saying? Well, let me ask you this. What do you think sparked the way for the young niggas to start coming out rapping? Us. Oh, y'all? Yeah, like, nah, okay, for sure. Like, okay. But I ain't even one, I ain't even one of them type of niggas to, um, to be like, oh, we started this and we started that. But that's facts. Like, it wasn't, I, I, I wouldn't say everybody. See what I'm saying? But it's niggas that I used to be cool with. That's Ape Gang and shit. They used to tell me, like, bitch, we need to make a song. We need to go to the studio. Y'all hoes turning up. See what I'm saying? It ain't nothing wrong with y'all doing right. that. I'm just saying, like, it was us first before any young nigga. Hey, y'all was the first young niggas I seen for yeah, Ryan a lot. Yeah, for sure. Now, shit, bro, uh, Mad Max is in jail again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he in the pen. Damn, right. for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mad Max don't got no hair. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Mad, Max. Yeah. Mad Max, bro. Yeah, nah, for sure. I feel like Mad Max hard to fuck, too, slept yeah, on, nah, too. Sure. Do you feel like, uh, like y'all should have signed another deal? A what? Like a NCG deal. Yeah, now nah, for sure. Yeah, we should have um, went a whole nother way with this shit. But at the same time, it's just like, we always had the mindset, because, you know, I was rapping I was rapping before them. So it's like, when I start rapping, I start rapping with Almighty, you mm-hmm. know, Lil Dave. Um, I start rapping with him and shit. But I ain't just start rapping like a group, but my first song was with him. So Damn, I, I ain't know that. With Lil yeah, Dave? Yeah. Damn. It was Lil Dave and Lil Ira. So uh, after that, I had dropped that shit, and that's when back then when Facebook was going up. So I had got like a hundred shares on Facebook and shit. Everybody was fucking with me. So back then, that's a lot. See what I'm saying? Yeah, like a hundred yeah. shares on Facebook. We like, damn, they yeah, fucking with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, they fucking with this shit. So boom, um, everybody in the city, like when they seen me, they like, oh yeah, bitch, I heard that woo doo you went crazy, this, that, this, that. So um, Mad Maxlin was like, bitch, let's make a song called Tokyo. I remember this shit like the back of my hand. I mean, like, oh, how you ever say that shit? Yeah. You said it right. On um, God, like, on <laughs> um, God. Then he was like, let's make a song called Tokyo. And I had came to his house. We was in the car. On um, God, we was just start writing that bitch, writing that bitch, boom. And it went, every song after that, it was just me, him, and his brother. Like, it was just like a group. You see what I'm saying? So, wow. it's just like, that's how that shit came about. Hey, bro, so I remember when, uh, you and then you went to the south side. Y'all tied y'all flags together. Yeah, you know what I'm I posted it on Instagram. Stupid that shit hit like five hundred thousand views. Yeah, nah, for sure. What was the OGs? What was their thoughts on that? Uh, I had uh, you know, I had to check in with my daddy and them first. See what I'm saying? But not not to do that. I had to check in with them to see if we can shoot a scene on Truman. Mm, see what I'm saying? Damn. But. My daddy didn't want going like they like they was like I fuck with what y'all doing I fuck with y'all young niggas but it like that's against the see what I'm saying like that's against cause it's called Truman Street Bloods yeah. it's like that's against it having bringing Crips to the neighborhood see what I'm saying like and then it's like hmm. and then from their perspective it's like okay boom y- y'all young niggas beefing with the East Side so it's just like if we let them come over there it's gonna look like we choosing the side that's true. see what I'm saying that's like true. daddy or not it it's true. just like that's how this shit go. Damn. See what I'm saying? So we had to respect that, and we shot it where we shot it at. See what I'm saying? But that's, that's real shit. That's how that was. Nah, for sure. For sure. Do you ever feel like them politics will go away? In nah, Fort never. Worth? Never. Damn. Never. Because uh, it's just like, well, with my dad and them. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, when when it's our turn to get old and shit, then it might. See what I'm saying? But the creators of that shit, the uh, Truman and shit, they ain't going like that. See what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. Damn. But I respect that shit, though. Yeah, nah, for sure. Sure. nah, for sure, for sure. Now, shit, bro, like, it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of media coverage and shit going on now. 
how do you feel about the bloggers covering Fort Worth right now? Because I, I feel like me and BZ kind of fell back from posting Fort Worth. Yeah, I, uh, I think a lot of bloggers did, but at the same time, it just like everybody, every other blogger except that boy, I don't want to say his name, that puts everybody else, they post um like... Hey, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I, 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 I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I, I'm kind of responsible for a lot of shit too, cause I introduced you to him, bro. Yeah, nah, you know but what I'm you, saying? you, you fucking did. <laughs> you responsible, bro? I'm so, glad so you did. I don't know, bro. It's like it was good, and then it just went left. Yeah, it just like shit. I ain't gonna lie. The video that y'all see me post with the um. What happened with that video? Let I'm me gonna ask tell you. you. I'm gonna the tell truth. you. Cause Wait, they, they say the video? video was played with, bro. Which Listen, video first? The, video of me and the boy like when i told him if he say something else i'm gonna punch him outside in the, in the parking yeah. lot okay yeah so boom <laughs> we in we in my shit and outside in the i want i had to make sure we knew we you in the know. apartment that we used to stay in together we, go, we gonna add that clip for y'all oh, yeah, it was yeah, you yeah, or you yeah, yeah. Nah, night, my partner used to stay over there yeah we in them hoes so he come and do an interview but we in the house doing an interview and shit and he had said some little shit like some weird ass shit that i ain't like and I reacted to it. I'm like, boy, I beat your ass in here. Like, stop playing with me. Like, you tripping. Like, don't say no shit like that. Or I think he said some op shit or some J Dub shit or some shit like that. I'm like, boy, I beat you up in here. Like, don't do that. And then, like, at first in the house, he was trying to make it as if, like, he ain't gonna fight me in my house. Like, he gonna respect the house. Like, not that he was scared or nothing. He was like, I just ain't gonna fight you in the house. So I'm like, shit, let's go outside then. We can just do this shit outside, ain't nothing. So we go outside and shit. And then that's that's the what happened with the video. Mm. See what I'm saying? So it, it really was just like a like my I ain't even know my partner's name was recording. Like yeah. that's just like some everyday shit. Like if I don't like some, I'ma react. Like however, see what I'm saying? So that that's what had happened. Like nigga said the wrong thing. Damn, let's go back. Did you respect when he said he didn't want to fight in your crib? <laughs> no, nope. you I didn't respect that. No, I gotta ask him, bro. I gotta ask. Cause disrespect, <laughs> it just like it can go down wherever. Like. Like, soon as we Man. get mad, like, we can do it right here. Like, we don't got to go outside. We don't got to, like, if anything break, whatever. Like, we'll handle that after. But at the same time, it's just like, <laughs> see what I'm saying? Hey, would you say you hot-headed, bro? I would. Okay. Well, well, I'm fucked up. Like, it's just like I'm fucked up for real. Like, I get into it with everybody. Like, I fight everybody. I do a lot of shit off camera that people don't see. See what I'm saying? But it's just like now I'm maturing and I just mm -hmm. be, I learn how to stay out the way. Yeah. I learn how to stay in the crib and shit. Yeah, nah, shit. That's where it's at, man. In the Until crib. Ain't nothing shit. outside. Nah, yeah, nah, for, for sure. sure. For sure. Yeah, my shit, too. <laughs> 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 shit, so any new music coming out? Coming mm. out and shit, but it just like I ain't really too focused on music right now. See what I'm saying? Like I'm still in a space where I don't really just talk a lot. See what I'm saying? Like um, like I used before Wally died, I used to be the asshole, like funny and shit, talking like boom boom off this. But now it's just like I just see how real this shit can get. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Like like quick like. Facts. Y'all know Dolph, Dolph was trying to fuck with me and shit when I was talking with Elmo. I used to always be on FaceTime with Dolph. Like mm. if I had my other Instagram, he'll tell you like, I mean, I show y'all like he'll come, he'll tell me to come to the A, do this, come to Memphis and shit. But I never came. I don't know why I never came though. But Damn. me and Dolph got a, like a close relationship, but it's like a close one that never met. Right. See what I'm saying? Like I felt like we'll be on FaceTime talking and shit. He'll show me shit and then. Um, Bebe, I'll be at a show and Bebe will FaceTime and be like, look at your boy, see what I'm saying? We'll be talking and shit. And then, like, we'll be texting and shit. Like, he'll reply to my shit, I'll reply to his shit. But it's like, we never met. See what I'm uh, saying? I know at one point, you and uh, Rod Wave was, like, conversing. You know what I'm yeah, saying? we were signed to the same label. Like, how, how is that now, though? Like, huh? with Alamo, yeah. That uh, what you asked with Alamo? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's really, like, to a point where... <laughs> He's straight. It's really like um me and Rod Wade really don't talk like that. It just like you know how that shit be before before people blow up, it just like they fuck with each other. See what I'm saying? Like we What's were signed to the same label, so he used to tell me like when he was running for the XXL shit, hey hey bro, can you post this for me? Yeah. Or can you um put the Texas motherfuckers on me? It was just like uh we were supposed to do a song and shit, but how he blew up, he blew yeah. up crazy, so it's like damn. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, if he come back and fuck with me, he do. But if not, I don't care. See what I'm saying? Okay, like, sure. I still fuck with you. Like, it ain't nothing. That's like real that. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't nothing. Now, it, bro. Oh, go ahead, go, go, go you ahead. got it. You got it. Now, bro, we got to ask you, bro, because y'all was on the internet with it. Yeah. You and Splizzy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what was to that situation, bro? If you can uh, speak on that. I really, um, with that situation, it was like, okay, boom. It was like a, uh, you know, Splizzy down there, my cousin type shit. It's just like my little sister and him is cousins. But it's just like all our life, it's just like we always been cousins. Like, But it's like coming back to a nigga feeling a certain way. Uh, I really don't want to speak on the situation, right. so I'm trying to go I respect it. it. I respect it. You, you know what I'm saying? Speak like, because I ain't that type. I ain't that type of nigga. Like, I get on this one and go off on another nigga all day. But if you my people, I really don't got too much, too like a lot of bad shit to say about you. But it was just like on some label shit, like it just like okay, boom, I'm keep it gangster. I was just gonna say that they can't be mature, man. No, <laughs> no, I ain't I ain't finna talk shit about him. I ain't finna talk shit about him. It's just like they um Splizzy used to always tell me to come sign with his label, sign with his label and shit. But at the same time, you know, I've been rapping since I was young. Splizzy right. just started rapping, so I. You can ask him. I, I told him, I'm like, bitch, I'm a real nigga. I ain't no leech ass nigga because I see you getting changed and shit. Like, I want you to shine first. See what I'm saying? Because I know how that shit be. Like, if I come to the label, shit can stop. See what I'm saying? We got two artists now. Now your focus ain't on. I mean, now they ain't focusing on you. They focus. See what I'm saying? I don't want it to be no nothing. So he like, bitch, I respect that because everybody else trying to jump on the way. I'm like, nah, for real. Like, just get you. Just go for like six, seven months, shine, bitch. And then I'll probably come when it's time. See what I'm saying? So that shit happened. So that shit happened and I came, then it that happened, like exactly what happened. Like it wasn't it was it was like what to call it, like it wasn't the same shit right. going on. See what I'm see saying? What so it just like me and Splizzy will be on the phone and be like, damn, bitch, this uh, damn bitch, this that, this that. I'm like, shit, bro, let's just get him on the phone. See what I'm saying? Let's just talk to him on the phone and shit. I'll get on the FaceTime. And then um, we had got on the FaceTime and shit. My temper got the best of me. Manager temper got the best of me. We get to arguing and shit. And I ain't like what Splizzy was saying either. So shit, I get to arguing with him. And then that's how that head came about. So uh, this song and shit, that shit just came out of nowhere for real. Could we ever see you guys make music together again? Um, I don't too much know. Like, I don't want to say it. Right. No, and then it happened. But for at sure. the same time, just like, I ain't pressed about no nigga for real. Like, I ain't too much worried about that situation. Like it's going like if if it been I didn't been had interviews, Fairy Springer, all type of shit where it just like they asked me about that shit and I don't speak on that shit. See what I'm saying? Right. Cause it just like I still I still didn't tell y'all like what happened, like details and shit. It just like I don't I don't get on here and speak on my people yeah. like that. Like you still yeah. my people at the end of the day. Like if you want to go make a diss song, that's just something you want to do. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Like, but I ain't gonna do no shit like that, or I ain't gonna like. Well, you know, the reason I asked you, bro, because I interviewed Splizzy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And when I talked to him, it felt like it was still love there, where it's not yeah. nothing serious and nothing. You know what I'm saying? Too far gone, where y'all yeah. can't work together. So. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. When I first yeah. met Splizzy. Splizzy charged my ass up. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't like how you handle my nigga Kenny B. I say man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Real shit. Real shit. Like nigga charged my ass up, but shit. Uh. Yeah, but I want to see y'all niggas work together. Y'all both talented. You know what I'm saying? Now, NCG, like, is it still a rap group right yeah, now? Yeah, for sure. It's never chain game forever. Like, like it's just with me, I'm forever never chain game. See what I'm saying? Like, it's nobody I can get into it with in my gang and I change my name and fall out. And, see what I'm saying? And right. choose something different. Like, I'm 242. I'm 242, but I'm 24 double S six catch body game, um, all that. See what I'm Ugh. saying? Like, <laughs> it's just like that. I'm Damn. Like, no that shit sound intimidating, right? I'm like, shit. <laughs> hey, so look, bro. If somebody wanted to get an NCG, how can me and Terry get an NCG if we wanted to? It's like you can't. It's like Damn. no way. Damn. You know what I'm saying? It's like no way. It's, it's too late. Just like, it's too late. It's just like, it's like no way. Like, Damn, what if I'm a good rapping ass nigga, though? It's just like you can be you can be <laughs> NCG like the label. See what I'm saying? You can come okay, to the label type shit, shit, but. Okay. Yeah, cause I got gang, like you can't be. Damn, gang, so I can't thug with you, if I, you know nah, what I'm saying? Nah, not necessarily, cause it's just like we. It's just like how we thug. It's just like everybody, everybody got blood behind this shit. Okay, See what I'm saying? Right, so it's right. just like we all know we all we got type shit, and we don't need 
uh, another problem with another nigga not knowing if he ready type shit and he yeah. gonna snake us or whatever. Like we gotta be all we got. Nah, for sure. That's, That's a hundred. Not recruiting. Nah, hell nah. <laughs> 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 hey, you know, nah, shit, bro. Now, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is a touchy subject, bro, but you know, we all had love for Walter in here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I know when I got the, I woke up to it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that shit fucked me up. But like, when you heard the news, where were you? I was in my bed. And it's crazy because my homeboy Zay, like, he, he usually called me like four, four, five in the morning. Cause you know, all my two four partners, they be in Dallas. Yeah. I be in Fort Worth. So when,